Hello everyone, welcome back. On today's episode, we're going to take a look at one of Livewire 3's new features called Lazy Loading that allows us to speed up our website and also improve the user experience. So let's take a look at what this is. Basically, Lazy Loading allows us to load an empty component, kind of an empty HTML for our component that are computationally expensive or take a long time to load and then load them in the background and swap them with empty HTML. So let's see that in practice because I think that's the best way to learn how it works. So here I have a simple component and let's assume you have a, you know, a table with like millions of rows or you're doing something very expensive on your database and it's going to take a few seconds. So here I'm kind of uh, simulating that by using sleep. So let's assume this, you know, user latest paginate or you, this user count is taking three seconds, right? Which is common. You might have that. And by default, obviously, that's going to make your component very slow, right? So if a user tries to load my website and I'm going to reload the page, one, two, three, you know, it took three seconds for the page to reload. And I don't know if you guys could see, it's a bit small, but the page was reloading. That's not a good user experience, right? If your user, it might even take longer than three seconds, right? Three seconds is actually reasonable. But if, you know, if it takes like five, six, seven seconds, your users might, you know, go to a different website. So what you can do is you can enable lazy loading. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go to my welcome.blade.php where I have imported my component. And if you're using the directive syntax to enable lazy loading, all you have to do is pass in an array as the second argument and say lazy true. And this will go ahead and enable lazy loading. And if you're using the other syntax I showed you guys, which is similar to like uh, blade components, live wire colon, a users list. This is a second way of loading components. Uh, this is one is actually a bit shorter. You can just say lazy. Okay. So both of these will work. So I'm going to follow the first way because that's what we've been using throughout the course. So let's go ahead and see how what happens. I'm going to reload the page. We get a blank HTML for our component. And then after three seconds, it loads. So this makes it so your response time is very fast, which is good. I think for SEO, Google likes websites that are faster. And then you might have a bunch of other stuff going on on your page, right? So the user might not even notice, you know, that one component hasn't loaded yet. As you can see, I reload again. We get a blank HTML after a few seconds loads in. Uh, and this is good. But one more thing you can do is you can actually have a placeholder, right? Sometimes this is known as skeleton loader, something like this. So here I have a flow byte. You can actually show a placeholder that looks like this. I think sometimes people call it shimmer loading, but or skeleton loading. And we can use this. So I'm actually going to go ahead and copy this. And I want to show this instead of my, you know, instead of the H empty HTML. So what we can do is we can go on our component. And again, both of these guys, both of these syntaxes work. Uh, we can go to our component and define a new function called placeholder. So I'm going to say public function uh, placeholder. And what then you can do is return a view here, okay, which is going to be your placeholder. So I'm going to say return uh, view. And I'm going to say placeholder. And we can go ahead and create this. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to create a simple blade file. Uh, placeholder.blade.php. And then I'm going to paste basically this, you know, skeleton loader or shimmer loading HTML inside here. Now let me for that, format this. And that's all you have to do, guys. So let me reload the page again. And bam, we get this kind of nice loading structure. And then after three seconds, the actual data shows up. So this is a very nice user experience. The page is going to be faster and also it looks very nice from the user's point of view. And that is all you have to do, guys, to do lazy loading. Now, it is very important that you enable this lazy here. So if I go ahead and remove that and I reload the page, we won't see the placeholder. So the placeholder only works if you have enabled lazy loading. Otherwise, it just takes three seconds or whatever, how long your, you know, uh, component takes to load. And Guys, that is basically the basics of lazy loading in Laravel library. So if you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section below. And I appreciate it if you guys like the video and subscribe so you get notified of the latest content. And I see you guys on the next video. Have a great day. Bye.